Hey everyone, today we're diving into a topic that's both important and controversial, glyphosate. You've probably heard of it by its brand name, Roundup. But why do farmers around the world rely on this herbicide? Let's break down the practical reasons. First, the basics. Glyphosate is a broad-spectrum herbicide, meaning it kills most plants it comes into contact with. Introduced in the 1970s, it works by blocking a specific enzyme pathway that plants need to grow. Without this pathway, weeds die within days to weeks. So why has glyphosate become one of the most widely used herbicides globally? There are several practical reasons. First, efficiency and costs. Before modern herbicides, farmers spent countless hours manually removing weeds or using tillage, which is labour-intensive and expensive. Glyphosate allows farmers to control weeds quickly across large areas, saving both time and money. Then, here's something many people don't realise. Glyphosate has actually enabled more environmentally friendly farming practices. With effective weed control, farmers can practice no-till agriculture, where they don't plough the soil. This reduces soil erosion, preserves soil health, improves water retention, and reduces fuel consumption from tractors. Additionally, in some regions, particularly those with wet, cold climates and short growing seasons, farmers use glyphosate as a drying agent before harvest. This practice helps ensure even drying and allows harvest up to two weeks earlier. It is mostly used in Canada, United States and some northern European regions. However, the EU banned glyphosate use as a desiccant in December 2023 due to potential residues on the crops after harvest. Now, it's important to acknowledge that glyphosate use is debated. There are ongoing discussions about environmental impacts on soil microbiomes and aquatic ecosystems, potential health concerns, development of glyphosate-resistant weeds. The bottom line, farmers use glyphosate because it's an effective, economical tool that has transformed modern agriculture and enabled conservation practices. But like any agricultural technology, it comes with trade-offs that deserve ongoing scrutiny and discussion. 